The Jolly Postman or Other People's Letters by Janet and Alan Alberg. Once upon a bicycle, so they say, a jolly postman came one day from over the hills and far away with a letter for the three bears. Let's have a look and see what's inside this letter. I wonder who it's from. So I can open this up at the back. And inside is a letter. Dear Mr and Mrs Bear and Baby Bear, I am very sorry indeed that I came into your house and ate Baby Bear's porridge. Mummy says I'm a bad girl. I hardly eat porridge when she cooks it, she says. Daddy says he will mend the little chair. Love from Goldilocks. P.S. <coughs> Baby Bear can come to my party if he likes. There will be three kinds of jelly and a conjurer. Goldilocks isn't very good at spelling, is she? She's made a few mistakes, but there are some lovely pictures. So, the bears read the letter, except Baby Bear. The postman drank his tea. And what happens next will very soon see. Off went the postman, toodaloo, in his uniform of postal blue, to a gingerbread cottage and a garage too, with a letter for the Wicked Witch. Oh, look at this letter. I wonder who this is from. The Occupier Gingerbread Bungalow the Woods. Let's open it and see. Oh, it's a big letter. Hobgoblin Supplies Limited. Everything for the modern witch delivered to your door or den. Covens catered for. Look, it's got loads of different things that you could buy if you were a witch. Like fog powder. Sky high goggles. Matching tie and sock set for the wizard in your life. I wonder if the witch will buy any of those things. So the witch read the letter with a cackle of glee, while the postman read the paper, but left his tea. It was green. Soon the jolly postman, we hear tell, stopped at a door with a giant bell. And a giant bottle of milk as well. With a postcard for, guess who? Oh, it says, Mr V Big, Mile High House, Beanstalk Gardens. Let's see who it's from. Oh, it's a postcard thinking of you on our magic carpet tour. Let's turn it around and see who it's from. Dear Giant Big, Having a nice time, me, my mum and your hen, what lays the golden eggs? It's better than travellers' checks. Saw a bloke as we was flying down. He was bigger than you. I've took note of his address. Take care of yourself and your talking harp. I'll be back for that one of these days, I shouldn't wonder. Bye for now, your very little pal, Jack. Let's put that back in the envelope. So. The giant read the postcard with a baby on his knee and the postman wet his whistle with a thimble full of tea. Once more on his bicycle, the postman rode to a beautiful palace, so we've been told, where the nightingale sang and a sign said sold with a letter for Cinderella. There's a surprise. Oh, look at the fancy writing. HRH, that stands for Her Royal Highness Cinderella. The Palace, Half Kingdom Road. Who could it be from? Oh, what's this inside? A book, Cinderella, a story of a fairy tale princess. Oh, look, and inside is the story of 
of Cinderella. And there she is at the end, marrying her prince. What does the letter say? Dear Princess, we at the Piper Press hope soon to publish a little book for younger readers in celebration of your recent marriage to His Royal Highness, Prince Charming. A copy of this book is enclosed for your approval. We trust that this somewhat shortened version of Your Highness's most marvellous tale will not displease you. We also trust that you will be comfortable in your new home and live happily ever after. Your humble servant and loyal subject to be, Peter Piper, Managing Director of the Peter Piper Press, Peck Lane, Pickleton. So Cinders read her little book. The postman drank champagne, then wobbled off on his round again. And again, and again. Oops! Later on, the postman, feeling hot, came upon a grandma in a shady spot. But grandma, what big teeth you've got! Besides, this is a letter for... Oh! Well, who's it for? B.B. Wolf! Esquire, care of Grandma's Cottage, Horner's Corner. Oh, I think that might be the big bad wolf. What does the letter say? It's from Meany, Miney, Mo and Co. Solicitors. Dear Mr. Wolf, we are writing to you on behalf of our client, Miss Ridinghood, concerning her grandma. Miss Hood tells us that you are presently occupying her grandma's cottage and wearing her grandma's clothes without this lady's permission. Please understand that if this harassment does not cease, we will call the official woodcutter, and if necessary, all the king's horses and all the king's men. On a separate matter, we must inform you that Mr. Three Little Pigs Limited are now firmly resolved to sue for damages. Your offer of shares in a turnip or apple picking business is declined. And all this huffing and puffing will get you nowhere. Yours sincerely, Harold Meany. So Grandma read the letter and poured the tea, which the not-so-jolly postman drank nervously. Now the jolly postman, nearly done, so is the story, came to a house where a party had begun. On the step was a bear with a bun, but the letter was for Goldilocks. Oh, look, please do not bend. To Goldilocks, 24 Blackbird Road, Banbury Cross. Oh, look what's inside here. It's a birthday card. Eight today, birthday wishes. Look. And inside there's some money. Bank of Wonderland, one pound. Pat a cake, bat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Carry it in on a beautiful plate and light up the candles. Today I am eight. Two Goldilocks with love from Mrs Bunting and Baby. So Goldilocks put the pound note in the pocket of her frock. And the postman joined the party and they all played Postman's Knock. Once upon a bicycle, so they say, a jolly postman came one day from over the hills and far away and went home in the evening for tea. The